Alright guys, AshBFC here, and welcome back to God of War. And this will be the finale. It's time to bring this journey to an end. And uh, this is uh, definitely the, the longest walkthrough I've ever done on the channel. I think uh, prior to this, it was um, possibly one of the Yakuza games at like 36 videos. Tear felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants. There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tear arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the long war was young, and the victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tear that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. Going in or what? Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Yeah, so I, I was sort of thinking about at some point during this walkthrough showing you the two optional um, realms. I wasn't going to sort of go through them, but just to briefly show you what they look like. But I will actually be doing that because you know I just want to get this done now. But yeah, um, this is basically like a, a big volcano. You have a series of challenges to do, which can actually be quite hard. Um, but there's a, I think there's a, there's a trophy link to it if you get all the way through it. And when you do get to the top, um, you'll fight one of the Valkyries. And uh, you can get, uh, I think, uh, smoldering embers, they're called, which will be used to craft and upgrade a certain armour. And, uh, yeah, no, is it Alfheim? Alfheim? Or is it Nilfhelm? I can't remember which is the one with it. I think it's Nilfhelm. The, the other one's the one with the dwarfs, isn't it? Well, whichever one it is, one of them's the the, the Fog Realm. Uh, it's where you get the best armor, well, you get the materials for the best armor. Again, there's another trophy related to it, but uh, it's really tedious. You've got to go through all this fog, and this fog slowly damages you, so you're sort of being rushed. And you've got to collect, um, go through, fighting enemies, opening the chests, uh, and it's sort of randomly generated every time you go back through it, so the layout will be slightly different, there'll be different traps. But you've got to uh, gather up all these uh, mist, echo, uh, mist echoes and stuff, and you've got to uh, uh, gather enough so you can lock all these different chests and open some tiers. Uh, but it's 
it's a tedious affair. You go, you'll be at it for a while, and if you happen to die while you're going through the mist, you'll lose all your um, your echoes and what have you. And <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was quite tedious. It's the only part of the game I genuinely didn't like. Um, but you'll have to go through that if you uh, you want to get your trophies or do your hundred percent completion. But anyway. Here we go. Boy, go ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? That's unpleasant! Now, boy! We must be close. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Hmm. 
Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Baldur! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Mothers. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
father. No. We do it together. Son. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. So yeah, Atreus is Loki. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't see that one coming. I was starting to think it was kind of weird, you know, get so far into the game and then, you know, I was like, how come Loki's not a dimension? And, well, there you go. Father, over here. Yes, it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? you want us to tell the people or keep it a secret I do not know so what should we do I trust you to decide that oh Why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. 
I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We I mean, are missed it. understand if you want to go home, but I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. It is a good question, though. What would Loki do? I don't know a whole lot about Norse mythology, but Loki's not a good guy, is he? Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Alright, so yeah, um, basically the game doesn't like properly end, you can continue to free roam which is really awesome and you know finish anything that uh, you've got left off to do, so you know nothing's missable which is uh, really, really cool, go, you know go and finish all the Valkyries or whatever, do any uh, favours, looks like wish you haven't done, get all the tears, find all the chests, get the best armour, so yeah I mean there's still a good few hours left if you you know you want to go for everything else, so yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a big game, very big game. By far the biggest um, God of War. And to me, an, an absolutely incredible game. Just absolutely phenomenal. It's just absolutely blown me away. To me, it is the best God of War. And that's really saying something. One of the best games of the generation. Hell, it's one of the best games I've ever played. It, it's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Amazing job by uh, Santa Monica and, you know, Corey Barlog, just, the guy's a genius. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you, more time has passed than you might realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur has become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter. But a great winter to span three summers. Done. Ragnarok. From snow. Aye. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Ragnarok. I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my stroke. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys? Just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Yeah. We 
We heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving and also to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Well, thanks, guys. But yeah, um, once you've uh, beat the game, you complete the story, uh, you'll be able to uh, upgrade both the uh, axe and the uh, the blades to the uh, the final level. That'll only be doable after the um, you've done the main story. It's the only way you'll be able to get the, uh, the what do you call it, the flame of chaos and the uh, I forget what it's called for the axe. I'd say it'd be wise to do that before you attempt to take on all the uh, the Valkyries. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's snowing. But uh, yeah, guys, that's that's got a war. It's the end of this walkthrough. As I said just absolutely in incredible game. It's just absolutely blown me. It's just one of those rare games that comes along every few years and just raises the bar. You know what we've come to expect from video games. <laughs> it's just incredible and. Well, you know, this story ain't over. There's going to be more to come, and oh, I can't wait. You know. Oh, it's going to be incredible. But I am worried about the future for Kratos. I'm very worried. So, um, yeah, that's it for this walkthrough, guys. Um, you know, I had a lot of fun doing this. It was awesome, and uh, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed. And now, I'll, I'll see you later. But don't leave just yet. There's uh, one more scene we can get if we head home. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you.